Hi you guys, welcome to Yanium's Moving Talkies. Today I've received quite a few parcels, so let's open them up and get into them. You know, it's always nice when you um, when you order some titles and then um, the parcels come for the letterbox. It's or the um, Royal Mail guy knocks on the door, gives you a parcel. It's always great that feeling, that anticipation, knowing that you're going to get that talking picture or series into your collection because you've actually got it right there and then it's awesome so what's in this one okay here's the back and then let's read the synopsis this hip and edgy thriller from director of from dust till dawn and the writer of scream and scream 2 sizzles with a hot cast including elijah wood from lord of the rings trilogy josh arnie from pearl alba and r b superstar usher Raymond. When some very creepy things start happening around school, the kids of Harrington High make a chilling discovery that confirms their worst suspicions. Their teachers really are from another planet, as mind-controlling parasites rapidly begin spreading from the faculty to the student bodies. It's ultimately up to the few who are left, an unlikely collection of loners, leaders, nerds and jocks to save the world from alien domination. Also starring Robert Patrick from Terminator 2, Famke Jensen from X-Men and Jon Stewart from TV's The Daily Show. In a great cast, don't miss this unstoppable excitement of this unpredictably smart and scary hit. And there are a few reviews. Los Angeles Times has put funny and clever. Detroit News has put a scary sci-fi flick with wit, energy and attitude. And that synopsis was from the faculty, which has two more reviews on the front, which says from Fox's TV, Hip and Scary, CNN, a thrilling ride. The faculty take me to your teacher. And here's the back again. Dimension Films presents a Lost Hooligans, which is a production of Robert Patrick, also directed by Robert Patrick, and screenplay is Kevin Williamson. The story is by David Wetcher and Bruce Kimmel. I'm expecting no artwork. Yep. No artwork, unfortunately. And this one is from World of Books. Now, um, I have ordered quite a few things from World of Books in the past, and the customer service is absolutely fantastic. I have ordered quite a few things off them before, which um, they've stated that they are in very good condition, yet when they arrive, usually the discs are battered. But um, the ones that have been battered, I've got in touch with them, they've refunded me, and they sent me a free item and all. So that's absolutely fantastic. But um, yeah, they're, they're okay, but the customer service, I can't, I can't knock them at all. So what's in this one? Yeah, this is a DVD. Hopefully uh, this disc ain't battered. And it is Night of the Hunter, which is something I've actually wanted for a long time. Unfortunately, the case is uh, it's actually a bit battered and a bit dirty. But I don't mind, I've got loads of spare cases. It's the disc and the artwork that I'm, um, that I'm more concerned about when I do buy things. Um, so yeah, I've always wanted this, especially from seeing the original Kate Fear, which I absolutely love. Um, it stars Robert Mitchum, who plays Max Cady in Kate Fear. And I'll read the synopsis. A tall, handsome preacher, his knuckles eerily tattooed with love and hate, roams the countryside, spreading the gospel and leaving a trail of murdered women in his wake. To Reverend Harry Powell, played by Robert Mitchum, the work of the Lord has more to do with the condemning souls than saving them, especially when his own interests are involved. Now his sights are set on $10,000, and two little children are the only ones who knows where it is. Children. The preacher croons to the terrified boy and girl hiding in the cold, dark cellar. Innocent young lambs who refuse to be led astray are finally acted imaginatively directed chiller with brawling power Night of the Hunter stars Mitchum in the most daring and critically acclaimed performance of his career spellbinding anonymous and hauntingly suspenseful this extraordinary film noir classic remains one of the most frightening movies ever made now I must say that sounds like the dog's bollocks and I'm looking forward to checking this one out now this is a Paul Gregory Productions, directed by Charles Loughton, produced by Paul Gregory, screenplay James Agee. It stars Robert Mitchum, Shelley Winters, co-starring Lillian Gish, James Gleason, Evelyn Varden, Peter Graves, Don Badeau, Billion Chapin, Gloria Castillo and Sally Jane Bruce. 
and is based upon the novel by Davis Grubb. Now let's take a Ganders inside and look at the artwork on the disc because we will get it because it's a Metro Goldwyn Mayer. It's a lovely artwork, look at that. And we have another item in the package which is looks like another DVD. Yeah, I know what this is. This is Spirit Trap. Now I've been trying to find this for yonks on physical media. Never been able to find it anywhere. Never seen it in the charity shop. Never seen it in car boots. Never seen it in HMV. I didn't even see it in that's entertainment when that was a thing. Well, I saw it on more of the books when it was like £2.20. I'm like, I'm definitely picking that up. We have quite a few reviews. We have Sneak, which is giving it a four stars. We have Miss, who's gave it four stars. We have Company, who was put outstanding. And we have Loaded, that's put Watch It. And we have the Z Review, who has put Superb, with an action-packed plot. I remember watching parts of this when I was younger on the telly. And now I've got it physically, I can watch it whenever I like. And here's the back, I'll read the synopsis. Featuring Billy Piper in a first starring role on the big screen, this spine-chilling thriller has finally arrived on DVD. When five unexpected students move into a dilapidated mansion, a mysterious spirit clock, long since disused, is set into motion as the walls of reality slowly fall away and dark secrets are revealed. The group are thrown headlong to the downward spiral of paranoia, murderous intent and supernatural horror. Can they escape the evil grip of the house or will they be caught in the spirit trap forever? This is one roller coaster of thrills that's not to be missed. This is a Revolver Entertainment Presents Archangel Filmworks. It's directed by David Smith, produced by C.C. Brooks Smith and written by Phil O'Shea. It stars Billy Piper, Luke Malby, Sam Thruton, Emma Catherwood and Also. And we have two more rating reviews by Sneak, which has gave it four stars, and we also have Miz, which has also given it four stars. And this is inside. Yeah, it does have artwork on the disc. As you can see, the case is not in the best condition, but that's all right. I can easily change the case. And we have another parcel. Um, yeah, like I say, it's always great when... Um, when you get these titles that you've you've wanted for a while and actually having them physically to literally put into your collection it's if you're a film nerd like me it's just a fantastic feeling so this is a blu-ray and it is bunny the killer thing now this I've, I've i've had this in my amazon basket for quite a while um saw the trailer looks daft looks silly looks fun looks over the top um, looks quite gory as well. Um, yeah, it just looks like a good time. But I had it in my Amazon basket. And uh, I was thinking, shall I get it? Shall I not get it? But there's part of me that wanted it. And at the same time, when I looked in my Amazon basket last time, there was only... I think this was the, this was the last one in stock. So I thought, yeah, I'll just snap it off. I'll get it. Because it is something that does look like a lot of fun. And it is a Spasmo Bunny release. I do collect the Spasmo releases. Um, so far, I've got... Uh, 100 Tears, Atros, and a few others, but I can't really remember from hand. And I must say, it's, it's pretty cool artwork. And I do like the spine right there. Bunny, the killer thing. Looks really nice. And we have the back. Yeah, I can't read any of this because it's. Actually, what language is it? Oh, it's, it, uh, yeah, it is Italian. Okay, it's Italian. That's why I don't understand that it's... I can't speak Italian. <laughs> so let's open this up and have a look at the uh, the artwork on the disc. And with these releases, we usually get um, like a piece of artwork on the inside of the reversible sleeve. And we're almost there, we're almost in. Yeah, we're in. Now let's open the inside, look at the artwork on the disc and look at the inside artwork on the other side. Look at that. Now that is a nice artwork on the disc. I must say that is nice. And yeah, that's a little piece of artwork. <laughs> Look at that. That just looks awesome. And um, as you can see, this container is quite a bit bonkers. Um, yeah, that's that's me all over. Awesome. Looking forward to checking this out. Yeah, and this is the last parcel. Um, yeah, I'm sure I know which one this is because um, I ordered this one straight from Italy, um, Amazon Italy. And it was um it was like four quid and I'm like yeah you can get you can guess what this is now this is the psycho remake uh, a lot of people give this a lot of crap I love it I think it's absolutely fantastic 
I like it just as much as the original. And the reason for that, I think, is because I actually saw this one before the original, because at the time, I never knew there was no, what there was original. I never knew this was a remake. And um, I absolutely love this. So I've got that nostalgia towards this. I understand why people don't like it, because it is basically a word by word, a screen by screen. It's basically literally the same, just in a modern setting, which, um, I, like I said, I do get it. And I love the original. And at the same time, there's, even though I love this, there's no need for a, for a remake. I, I, I do literally get it. But because I've actually seen it first, and I do actually like it, then, you know, I'm glad that it was remade. Because I'm one of the rare people who actually does like this. And um, I do have it on DVD. I think I will, sleep, I will still keep the DVD. Especially if it's, if it's got different special features on. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy to have this on Blu-ray. I've got the 1960s on DVD, I've got the 1960s on Blu-ray, I've got the I've got this one on DVD, this one on Blu-ray, I've got Psycho 2 on Arrow Blu-ray, I've also got the Psycho Complete Collection on Arrow 4K. And that is a nice artwork on that disc, I must say. I'm so looking forward to checking this out again on Delicious Blu-ray. Look at that. I know a lot of people don't like it, that's fine. There's only a few people that do like it. You know, that's fine. I love it. And I'm really looking forward to checking this out again. And we do get some special features. We have Psycho Path. We have Making a Psycho, International News, Real Footage, and Additional Shadow Scene. Awesome. This is directed by Gus Van Zandt. It's produced by Gus Van Zandt and Brian Grazier. And the screenplay is by Joseph Stefan. And the cast, Vince Vaughn, Julianne Moore, Viggo Mortensen, William H. Macy, and Anne Hedgie. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Walk and always believe.